The tour starts North Stain, Manly Beach, challenging conditions. Harrison Roach comes back and wins that event and puts himself as the front runner on the tour. Dynamic conditions. He had to surf through from knee high offshore glassy waves all the way up into some onshore up to six feet waves. Board changes, a delay in the uh, period of waiting period. And then to Huntington, where he got a result that was a little underwhelming, almost to the point where he, he wondered why he even rocked up to, to Huntington. Ah, oh, this. Let's enjoy this. This is the beauty of longboarding, and this show is absolutely free 93 right now because this is just beautiful surfing and the style and soul of surfing. Style, flow, display. and grace. Style, flow, and grace. Um, wow, and just Carney saluting our 2022 World Longboard Champion, Harrison Roach from Australia, claiming his maiden victory as a world champion and the Malibu Cuervo, Malibu Classic. Had to get it done here. Already had a keeper result with a victory at Manly. Negate, no problem. Whatever happened at Huntington Beach didn't matter for Harrison Roach. He had to win at Malibu, and that he did. A long time coming, 31 years, and now a world champion, Harrison Roach, can add his name on a long list of incredible surfers. Uh, yeah, absolutely, and I feel like I want to cheer him up there, too. They've got the 805s flowing and uh, just sinking back a few beers. I'll tell you what, this is uh, an iconic moment. Malibu in pumping waves. The surfers did have opportunity throughout, and it's just been incredible. This is one of the most uh, memorable Longboard Bell Championship to a year's ever, Kaipo. Title is won in the water, and that's the way we wanted to see it. Harrison Roach rose to the occasion, did his job after against a very talented Connie Alla Stewart, who had a lot of momentum coming into that final. But right now, the brotherhood on full display. And uh, this is the beautiful thing about surfing, no matter what board you ride. Absolutely, and uh, that's Chad Marshall down there. Congratulating him. We had Ben Skinner there and all the competitors coming up. Just really, everyone's ridden Harry's journey. Uh, the, the, the content that we've created this year, as far as the tour is concerned, the stories that have been built, and it's all climaxed today here at, at Surfrider Beach. And, and Harry up against that iconic Malibu wall we've spoken about throughout the event. Goosebump moments here, and so proud of, of Harrison. He has deserved this, as is everybody, but you know, coming right through, surfing beach breaks. We've surfed into the pier at Huntington, and we end here at Malibu Beach. Let's hear from the new world champ. Strider, you got him. We got him, the new world champ. I haven't seen you smile all day until now. You were laser beam focused. You're the Cuervo Classic Malibu champion out here, presented by O'Neill. Let me hear your thoughts and your energy from being a world champ. Yeah, I'm really happy. Um, got very close last year, and it, uh, I realized at that point just like how much it takes to to get here again and then I, I did and I just put my head down and made it count. I would have liked to have not fallen on that second good one I had. I left the door open for Carney there but um, gee, he got close. I think when the beach commentator announced it I thought he had the score. Uh, so it's a relief for me but yeah, I'm ready to have a few beers and relax for a bit. <laughs> Tell me about Carney. Carney, he's got like a massive future. He's obviously one of the best longboarders in the world right now, if not ever. Um, comes from Hawaii, a really important uh, place for surf history. The kid's a sweetheart as well, and uh, no, I, I'm lucky to have him in the final with me, for sure. Well, congratulations, WSL Longboard World Champion. You've gone and done it. Let me hear a little bit more about everybody back home watching. Yeah, so mom and dad, thanks for supporting me. Um, they took me to contests when I was a little kid, you know, and. Uh, now I've gone and done this. Um, to Fano, yeah. to everybody who's made my boards over the years, uh, to Rourke, all the guys who helped me to get to these contests and to travel and surf. Uh, there once was a time where longboarding didn't have a platform like this and, and it was a different style of surfing. So I'm really fortunate to be here. Thanks to Joel and the duct tape and Vans who put those events on for so many years. Um, and yeah, thanks to the WSL and the sponsors. I'm, a very happy man. <laughs> well, congratulations. Go celebrate. Enjoy your time. And once again, right on, brother. Thank you, Serata. You. Cheers. Thank you. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.